Danny DeVito contacted my agent. Okay. And said, uh, we want Elvis to choreograph a skating number at the end of our movie called Death to Smoochie. Right. Little did I know that I was working with Robin Williams. Wow. He was playing Rainbow Randolph, and De- Smoochie was um, Edward Norton. Okay. So I'm like, oh, my God, this is, like, wild. So they at the end of the movie, they, they're, they're two characters. They're, they're kid show characters. One is the Rainbow Randolph, and the other one is, a, 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 um, like, a, like a dinosaur, a purple dinosaur, right, like Barney. Yeah. And that was uh, Edward Norton's character. And they were, like, it was a dark comedy. They were, like, fighting against each other. Mm. Like, like who's going to be more loved by the kids and their show. Right. Had, it's, like, really bizarre. But anyways, they everything hap, happy ending, and there was a big skating thing at the end. They wanted me to choreograph skating, so I ended up having double for Robin. So all the shots were me, long, and my feet. Robin didn't know how to skate at all, so they put him on javelin shoes. So you're out there with him? Oh no, I work with him for like like a couple of weeks. Cool. Yeah, unbelievable man. Like my heart aches that he's not with us because he was such a gift. Like I blown away he um i'll tell some stories but yeah we're doing some stuff on the ice and i had to choreograph and i'm showing him all the choreography upper body and then they'd shoot my legs yeah yeah and they they tried to get him to do a russian split so what they did was they couldn't obviously can't do one so a russian split is basically touching your feet in the air like this so i would do the russian split i'd get up in the air and to get him they they'd put him in some skates yeah and then they put him on a trampoline on the ice, and then he'd bounce, <laughs> and then he would try to get his legs up, and he would, uh, he'd get the, and then, so they at least they'd get the air shot like it was him. Then they'd cut to yeah, you. Yeah, and then yeah. they cut, like, so they cut to me on my legs taking off, and then they catch him going, like, <laughs> it, it was hysterical. So it probably looked a little goofy in, yeah. the, in, the, sh- in the movie. Yeah, yeah, but it was, it was so, it was so much fun, and he, um, it, it, it just, I love the process. Like, there's the hurry up and wait, which is a pain. Totally, yeah. But it was it was amazing. All there was all these kids there, and like it was such a long wait in between takes and things. And he would do stand up for the kids to keep them entertained. Like in between shots, he'd go and wow. do stand up and do stuff and with the kids. And he was amazing. He was unbelievable. Um, and I remember I was trying to train because it was in the summer of two thousand and one, and I was competing. I was getting ready for the two thousand two Olympic season. It was gonna be my last season, and it was pretty big. So I said. Uh, during during lunch, I said, "Hey, can I use the ice surface to train?" And they're like, "Yeah." So the producers go ahead. So everyone's in craft, yep, eating, and I come out and I start putting on my music and I start doing my my training session. And this was at Maple Leaf Gardens. Cool. Yeah, back back then, and and uh, Robin was he he came out and he's like, "Can I watch?" And I'm like, "Yeah, of course. I'm just doing my you know training." So I'd get out there and I get in my zone and I'm doing my thing and I start training. And his face was lit up and he's like. He ran back and he took off and he came back. He brought like all the crew. Yeah. And like, you, you got to watch him. And I'm just like, can we watch? I'm like, yeah, it's okay. I'm just getting ready for Olympics next year. They're like, they, they didn't know because I didn't talk. I don't talk about it. I was sure. just doing my thing. So I'm running through programs and doing stuff for like, I'm 45 minutes. I'm trying to cram in my training. And he was like ecstatic. And he, and just, I'm like, dude, you're Robin Williams. Like, this is, this is crazy, you know? And, and we talked about skating and, and then I remember one day I was I was taking a break and I was down on the other end of the rink by the big set of big rainbow rainbow Randolph and I was just, I was actually having some food and he walked he found he saw me he walked all the way around the rink he sat down and we just started talking about you know life and and mm. skating and movies and stuff and told him I said I'd love to do the acting one day when I'm done skating and and uh, I always loved Star Wars. I grew up with Star Wars. Loved to be yeah. in a Star Wars movie, play Han Solo. So I was bummed right. out when they had the Han Solo movie. I was like, I want to be Han Solo. But anyways, <laughs> so he, uh, we talked and stuff. And then at the very end of the last day of the shoot, uh, we were rapping. He comes in and he has presents for all the crew and all the actors, everyone. And I wow. got a stack of presents. And I'm like, what is he? He, he got me all in all Star Wars stuff all Star Wars paraphernalia, everybody got something really cool. Like he went out of his way to like connect with everybody. And like, it was the most amazing experience to, to, to share. Like I was just blessed that I had time to spend with him and talk wow. to him and stuff. He was uh, an amazing, amazing man. And uh, Edward Norton was super to himself. Didn't talk much. He was very quiet, very in his zone yep. where Robin loved being around. He had to be around people. Totally. Yeah. He you had, could see that from afar. He just, yeah, it, it was it was amazing.